How are we doing? I think we're all good. Hello everyone. One Tigris Tetra. It's the largest size with the height of 160 centimeters. I bought this camping with me. I'm going to sell it up now and I hope that it's all okay because there is no plan B. I'll come back to you when I've set it up. using a decathlon mat today as well I've used it once before and I really liked it it's the new 1.8 it's beautiful and bright it comes with its own inflation sack which I personally don't think is that great They show you to bring the whole thing up and blow into it but it doesn't work well enough for me so I tuck it all in just to let you know if you've got an X bed or a thermo rest the valve size on this is slightly different so the others don't fit So sleep wise, I've got the snug pack arctic mat just in case there's anything sharp poking through. I don't want it to go in my new air mat. I've got the four class decathlon air mat which is six centimeters thick and I've found this to be really nice because it's it's really stable. Some air mats you lean on them you tend to go through it but this distributes your body really well and on top of that i've got a zippable poncho liner that works well for me because i've got plenty of plenty of room and i got this little inflatable pillow one thing i did wonder about this was can i sit inside it on my little chair hello again it's hard to get the lens wide enough to get us in but you can see from this I'm inside in my little chair I got loads of room So it should be possible to sit in here when it's raining, which is exactly what I wanted. So for one person, this seems to be fitting the bill really, really well. Even if it was windy, it shouldn't be too bad. So as for sleeping space, I've pushed everything up in one corner. The camera doesn't do it enough justice because I can't get a wide enough angle. But for one person, this is, this is absolutely palatial. Now for two people, you'd have to be very, very friendly indeed with each other. Because you'd struggle with that. Let's have a look. There we are. That's the Antarctic mat. And the air mat, this is 59 
that's centimeters wide if I remember and then we got the other mat there's really be a real struggle for two people but for one absolutely awesome there's something else I wanted to show you you can't see it in the moment pole goes all the way up there and down here it's all right at the moment because the ground's hard so i bought this with me this is for a motorcycle side stand holder thingy and what i did i bought this years ago and it served me well i put some hardboard in the middle and cut out the middle bit and coated it so that water doesn't get into it and i use that oh there we go i use that on single pole tents to prop everything up obviously you can use half a tennis ball there's all kinds of things you can use but i found that to be absolutely solid so if the ground's soft this isn't disappearing and your tent's not getting shorter Good morning. I didn't get much sleep last night because <coughs> there was rabbits running around, little devils, and they're only tiny little things, and you hear them, and it's really dark outside. But they sound really loud. You're like, oh, is that someone running around out there? And you realise it's rabbits just doing what rabbits do at night. I also woke up, so I was a bit chilly. I only had this Dutch Army poncho liner with me, which I thought would be enough. But it wasn't, because there's quite a lot of air circulates through this one tigress tent. And so you get a bit of a bit of a chill. So luckily i also just in case bought a long uh, snug pack jungle blanket and threw it over the top and that cured that problem it's very little in the way of condensation there was no dripping or anything and that's due to this let's see if i can undo him massive vent And it's absolutely brilliant design. You've just got this single piece of mesh here. It goes all the way along the length of the tent. The downside to that is because you've got so much me mess. <laughs> Take two. The downside is because you've got so much mesh, then the breeze does come through here. It keeps condensation away, like 90%. However, you do get a breeze on yourself. So if it was windy, you might be better off with a much heavier kind of sleeping system or even a bivy bag just to keep all that wind off. But I must say, I'm super impressed with this so far. I've got loads of room. I've got loads of room out there. I'm really glad I purchased this tent. A quick word about what I had underneath me. Snug pack Antarctic mat. I was really skeptical about this but you can definitely feel if i was sleeping directly on the ground now i would get a chill but that's taken any kind of chill away it creates a really nice barrier and it packs up very small rather than having to take a foam mat Sorry, I'm struggling for me words. It's six o'clock in the morning. 
I've only just woken up. Um, but I'm really impressed with this and I've also been impressed with me mat. Me air mat. That's the four class MT900 Air. I think it was £69 in decathlon and I overinflated it to start with this time and I blew it up and it was a bit uncomfortable because there was too much air in so I let a little bit out and I got it to my right comfort level and it's been absolutely brilliant for the money I don't think you can go wrong it's got these baffle system here and the air moves around but the way there's so many baffles in here it seems to give it a lot of structure it's almost like some kind of foam mat in the way that it holds you but of course it's not it's air it's only got a rating of 1.6 so that was another reason why I went with some kind of base for it. And the whole thing's working out very, very well. Mm -hmm.